Hey y'all, it's Julie. Um, I thought I'd do a quick little haul video. Um, some of it's junk journal stuff and some of it is uh, some stuff I got for resale um, for my Etsy and my eBay. Um, I've definitely had to change the way I'm finding things. Um, we're like level purple right now in my town. So going to thrift stores and stuff just isn't working. So um, I have found some pretty cool stuff on some auction sites other than eBay. Um, I have a lot of stuff coming in uh, today and tomorrow and next week. And I'll definitely do a haul um, of that stuff because it's really cool. I found some really amazing stuff. So I can't wait to share that with you. Um, so this is just going to be kind of a shorter haul, I think, um, just some things I've found, um, and I guess let's get started. So I found this adorable mid-century, like, handmade chicken, um, it had a thimble in it, I must have dropped it out, but it has a thimble holder, this cute little, like, pincushion chicken, I just loved it, it came in a little lot of sewing stuff along with this porcelain doll pin holder. Um, this is really old. It doesn't have a maker's mark or it, that, oh, it's made in Japan. So this is probably pretty old. And then I got this cute little pin cushion just with it because I couldn't resist it. I loved it. It's velvet and it's a little different than the, like tomato pin cushions, so I'll be keeping that, I think. And then I got this little shoe one. Um, I think it's leather, actually. And then it's, like, beaded. It's really pretty. Um, I found this little Raggedy Ann sewing machine. Um, doll's turned. So it's still in the original box. Um... And it's just super cool. I know um, Mary at the Paper Turtle collects these, um, collects Raggedy Ann. So I may message her before I list this to show her and see if she's interested. Um, yeah. So there's that. And then I think I'm going to keep this. I just fell in love with it. The silhouette. Um, it's like a knitting jar. It's still pretty nice inside, no bent like dents or anything. And then the string just comes out of this little top hole. But I just thought she was so cute, so I'm keeping that. Um, so I show in my last video, I showed some old bottles that I got, and I'll show you what I turned them into, and then. I'll show you some, some more bottles I got that I'm going to do the same thing with. So this bottle has already sold to my friend. Um, she's awesome, and uh, they're going to her soon. She bought a few of them, and some are for Christmas presents. So this is the Owens Medicine bottle, uh, apothecary bottle. So I cut out, um, I made, had to make this uh, design because when I was trying to save save it from Google, it just was not working. So I made it myself, um, cut it out on my Cricut, and then I hand stamped to the Tree of Life on the back, and then this is just Sari Silk, and then some different um, crystals from Practical Magic that I talk about. Um, I use them because they're very, very, uh, they're very fun, great people, and, um, yeah, I try to support them and a couple of the other um, metaphysical stores that are, are local. So, <clears throat> seeing that, um, I got this Bitters bottle that is super rad. I love the green. It's got apples. Um, so, I'll probably do something. Let's see, turn it this way. Here. Um... I'm not sure if I'm going to make it a moon water one or what, but I'm picking up all these old bottles just because people seem to like them and um, I'm having fun making stuff with them. And uh, this is a gin bottle. 
I just thought it was really cool. It's got some luster on it. It does have some chips, but I don't think that really matters. Made in London, so this is really cool. And then this bottle I found out is uh, from, it's another Owens, but I believe it is a uh, Nature Sweet Prune Juice bottle from back in the 40s. So that's how people used to get their prune juice, I guess. So, but yeah, it is Owens. So I'm gonna say this is, you know, 40s or 50s. Okay, I got some fun sewing stuff um, from the same place I got the pin cushions. Um, I love this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell these or I'm gonna turn them into like mini sewing journals. So we'll see, but I mean, it's in really, really great shape. Like, look, it already has a flip already built in. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I just like the paper on this. I don't need these pens, I have tons. Um, my mom gave me her sewing kit because she doesn't sew anymore. So I have a lot of these straight pens, but I just, I liked the paper on that. And this cute little, I'm not even sure, welcome trademark soap fam for family use. So I don't know what this is exactly, but it came in it and it's super cute. It would look, I'm definitely probably gonna use that side. I mean, not that the kids aren't cute, but this is awesome. So that will be fun to try to use somehow. Um, just some more needles. And then this is really awesome. I definitely think this is wide enough to turn into a journal. Um, and it's just, you know, same thing as the other one. But I think I could maybe do something with this. And then she had some old patterns too. Like I'm used to finding, you know, like decently old simplicity stuff at my thrift store. But I have not seen anything like this. Um, and it's just super cool. She says she has more, so I'm hoping that, um, she finds them and I can get some more from her. I think it's been used, but it's, looks like it's been taken really good care of. Um, it does not have a date. I looked before I started filming, um, unfortunately, but yeah, if anybody knows about these patterns, let me know, because I would love to have a date for them. Um, Butterick patterns, um, printed in New York, it's all I get, no, no dates. Yeah. But I love the paper on this one. It's really aged and has that great sound. Looks like it's been used, maybe. I don't wanna open it up and tear it too much. So I will probably sell those. I have so many patterns. I got this cool, I need to clean it, obviously. Um, brass vintage uh, mirror. I'm sorry if my light is like reflecting, but um, it needs a good cleaning, but this is super cool. And um, it's definitely old, made in Morocco. So it's definitely a really cool piece and that will probably be going in my Etsy sometime this week. All right, let's do a couple books. Got some more uh, from the same lady. Um, our loved Reader's Digest books. They have all sold out in my store, so I'm going to list these two soon. Um, these are really cool. Usually the, the spines have different colors for the different story pieces that they have in these, but, so I don't know, but these are really cool. Um, really good condition and aged. Um, 1957. So, and the thing that I thought was the coolest part of these books is look, look at the paper. Like, I have not seen 
Reader's Digest have different colored paper like this. Like, part of it aged and part of it didn't. Well, I mean, it's all aged, but, like, some of it is really aged. Um, so that's, and it's interesting because they're all like that. So, I don't know if these are just slightly different, but they're really cute. They would make great journals. I love this one. So those will be up in my Etsy soon. And then this book, let me tell you. How cool is this? It's like pristine condition would make an excellent journal for somebody or, I mean, if you collect Edgar Allan Poe books, I know Dolly loves them um, at Gypsy Rose Papery. Um, nice and paper. It's 1985. And it's got just different sections of his work. Blow out my candle. <laughs> so, and the, the edges are gilded on the top and bottom. And it's got a silk bookmark. So this will definitely go in my Etsy. If it doesn't sell, I will definitely be making something out of it because I really like the pages. Okay, so <laughs> I've seen so many videos of people that find like the mother load of vintage lace and I always enjoy watching it, but I never thought I would get so lucky. But let's move you back. Check it out. <laughs> so I got this entire box for like $10. I'm not going to show you all of it because it would turn into a very long video, but just look at some of this. I'm not sure if that's hand or machine crocheted, but it's really lovely. This piece is falling apart, but it's silk. So I'm going to have to put this somewhere and keep it safe until I use it because it's really fragile. I thought this was kind of fun. Something different. And let's see, this one's cool. Blue cherries. It's a little stiff, so that's kind of nice sometimes. And I was just about to run out of this trim with the like ruffled edges, so I am stoked to have this. I really like to put this on the edge of pages. Like y'all do probably. This, this nice little one. Let's see, let's do a few more. This one's really cool. It's like peach, but it's aged. So it's kind of, has just has a really interesting color, but it will be perfect for journals. Um, this cute little one I loved. It was one of the first ones I pulled out when I got it. Cute little flowers. I love the mustard yellow. I do not have anything in this color and I am really happy. You know, it's, yeah, it's a great color. Something I don't have. Let's see, cute little daisies. This is pretty aged. It looks like it was pretty lime green at one point, but it's lightened up some. And some eyelet with hearts. Now she had a whole lot of stuff. This is really cool. I like to put uh, wide lace like this, like on the, um, like the spine of the book, sort of like, right here, if you can see that sometimes. What else is in here? I haven't honestly looked at all of this. Some silk embroidered, that's beautiful. Some more flowers. Ooh, this is pretty. Another wide one, but. I really like stuff like this too. Let's say that's newer, this is cool. This is old for sure. Love that. 
I don't know if you guys can hear it, but if you hear a strange noise, it's my dog snoring. <laughs> She's really old and she snores so bad when she sleeps. So if you're hearing like a weird high pitched sound like right there, that'd be my dog. I've had her since she was six weeks old and she is 14 now. So I don't fault her for snoring. She's an old girl now. So yeah, this is really cool, super useful. I will definitely be putting some of this in my packs that I sell as the extras. Um, all the paper packs I sell in my store, I always add a bunch of extra stuff to them um, because it's fun and I have so much. And if somebody, you know, is here to buy stuff for junk journals, like I love the community and I like to add extra stuff. I got some cards. Um, these are really cool. Okay, so imagine covering this with like a piece from a Sears Robux catalog with like a like a lady's face. Super rad. The cards are really cool on the like the face cards. They're really aged and like really different than your typical like bicycle. I mean, they're still the same style, style but like the colors are kind of different and they they look a little different than the normal cards that we see. So I got a double pack of that. Um, I'm running really low on my um, cards on my Etsy because I sell them, you know, in little, they call them single swaps. So it'll be like, you know, a set of 10 nature cards or something. So I'm running low, so I'm glad that I came came upon these. These are really cute. It was a double pack. Um, and then the sides are gilded. So that's always great. And I love the spade card. So these are really cute. And those will replace some of the nature, or the flower cards that I'm running out of. And then I got two cameo packs. And I have a few other cameo packs. Um, so I'm gonna do a new listing with those, but these are really cute. I like the finish on them. It's like almost like a brushed, like fabric looking finish, if you can see it. So I got green and then uh, like a coral. If it's color's not coming through. It's like a really pretty coral. Um, so there's those. And then I got two packs of these. <clears throat> I love this, the artwork on this. It's like screams art deco. So I have two packs of these cards. I bought it. I love New York. Never been. I've wanted to go since I was a little kid. It's not just a quick trip though from California, but I loved the moon and the night sky. So even if some of this gets covered up, like the moon is the reason I bought them. And I loved the artwork, slightly aged. So I got two packs of those, I'm really excited. I'm definitely keeping some of those for my own journals that I make. And then, I got some stuff on Etsy um, because I, I like to support other people that sell on Etsy. This year for Christmas, I am really trying to only buy stuff from, you know, small business and um, Etsy stores, eBay, buying stuff off of Marketplace because I just don't want to like, you know, spend as much as I normally do on Amazon and Walmart, um, trying to buy stuff there less. And it's actually, I'm really excited about all the stuff that I've gotten for people that way. Um, so I got these um, off of Etsy for my own use. Um, I know I've mentioned several times that I'm working on an Alice, <clears throat> collecting stuff for an Alice junk journal. So I will link the name of the store that I got these at um, in the video. This is my third order from them, um, and it's definitely my biggest order. And she had a really great deal going um, after Thanksgiving, so I went ahead and bought the stamps that have been in my cart for a while. So here are my Alice stamps. 
very excited to use these. I need more Alice stuff before I start it, but I'm getting there. Add some crows because I love crows. This one I just think is adorable. Like, And then witch hat crow. I already have <laughs> another crow stamp, but what can you do? A little palmistry stamp. I have a lot of like Tim Holtz um, ephemera, but I love, I really wanted a stamp. And then she only had one of these and it, she's just a cute little pinup girl. So I grabbed her and then like part of the reason I love this shop so much is because this is what they send their stamps in. I'm like, I can use this for journals. Like, and they sent it in three bags and then I have my other one, other two from my other orders. So these are super cute. So not only if you order, if you need stamps, like new stamps for journals or whatever, Order them from here because you actually get stuff that you can use with them. Love that. Um, and a few more cards. Um, I got this from a, a different person um, on Facebook, I think. And these are really cool old, old made cards. Um, the back's just kind of plain, but I thought these were cute and different. So I'll probably sell some of them in my store because I don't really need all of these, but they're pretty cute. And then I got another like Victorian. So these will probably go in the Cameo single swap pack. Um, let's see if I can get it up as close as possible. They're beautiful. They have the best feel and they're just old and used and grungy and I freaking love them. <laughs> Look at how great these cards are. So super stoked. It's cool. On those. And then I got this pack of cards and I forget what she said what game this was. Oh no, these are card playing cards maybe. Two princess. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to look this up because I don't know what this game is. Castle. It's almost like sort of tarot style, like the tower almost. There's more than one. Maybe I don't know what these are. This is the rat. This is, I, this is really, and the backs are just plain. So I don't know, but they're really cool and different. Yeah, there's multiple of malt. This is the malt. There's multiple cards of each one. <laughs> so I'm going to have to look this up. If anybody knows anything about this, let me know because... The Maiden. This is really interesting. These are the cow. Interesting. I'm going to have to look into this more. And then the last set I got from her are super cool. They came in this awesome little um, tin. It will be useful for ephemera. Look at how cool these cards are. Super unusual, very, and like distorted because of the way that they made them. I love them. So these are great. I'm gonna sell these probably in packs of five on my Etsy. They're amazing. Something different, right? Okay. I got some little embroidered hankies. Just go through these really quick. I may sell a few of these. I'm accruing more than I need. Um, but hard to pass them up. I love this one. So I may sell a few of these. Not sure. Love this one. It's super thin. So if you're going to like make a pocket, you could totally see I mean, that's two layers. You can totally see what's in it. Um, 
This one's really cute too. This one, love it. I think that's it. Yep. Okay. Found this cute little recipe box. Um, I went into a vintage store and she was charging more than antique stores. Um, it's a thrift store slash vintage and even the thrift stuff she was charging a lot for. But I found this for a couple dollars and I loved the, the reason I got it were these. I mean, we find these all the time, right? But like, they don't have like biscuits and cake, like cake fillings, candies, cocktails. So it has more than just the typical like, you know, ones that we see. Fritters, frosting, I love the aging on these. They're beautiful. Seafood, refrigerator. Like, unfortunately all of her Whoever owned this, you can tell it was used, but her recipes were taken out. You can see where one sat right there. Oh no. Okay, and last but not least, I got some books. Okay, these are really cool definitely going to sell a few of them. Um, the Rainbow Cottage. I love it. Beautiful aged paper. This one is the Siamese Twin Mystery. Got it for the skull there. And the, that's my little one. She must have woke up from her nap. And the pages are just beautiful um got another little women book love 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 the original movie i loved the inside of this uh florida lease is awesome so this is cool i'll definitely be cutting this one up and selling the pages and i mean the binding's pretty pretty bad but the pages are great and they have great illustrations so these will go in my um in my uh, old book pages that I sell in packs. The Yellow House. I thought this one was really cute. Um, I loved the ink and quill. Morrisville Library, no idea where that is. And it's falling apart, but it's fine. Um, let's see, 1959. It's definitely pretty tore up, but I think the, the cover can be salvaged for a journal. And then this one I was really excited about. Psychic Energy, How to Change Desires into Realities. So it's like the people that did The Secret found this book or something and <laughs> uh, made that. So I thought this was witchy and fun. Um, 1970 the pages are really nice have some at aging but not like terribly um i'm actually gonna maybe read this before i do anything with it and i might just go on my shelf of witch books i got this at the last time i went out to a thrift store like a month ago the House of Intrigue. I love green covers for journals. Um, and I, I just thought this book was cool. It's from 1918. Hi, can you say hi? Hi. This is Elena. So there's that book. And what? Those all are missing? Oh dear. And then I got a, I'll make this quick and wrap it up, but I got a huge pack of fun cards. Here, you want to hold that one? It's a teaser. Some, mm -hmm. it, is. it is. Let's move that over here. So, I mean, they're not like super new. The Altamont Pass, it's in California. I thought it was magical when I was a kid with all the windmills. 
I love this one. Mm -hmm. Oh, careful, baby. Okay. You're okay. Love this one. That's going in a junk journal. I'm keeping that one for sure. I'll probably sell a pack of some of these. Um, Hi, mommy. Some artist cards. Different places. So they must have traveled and like... Yeah, there's um, some from Verona, and it's like, there's one, oh yeah, this one, it's Juliet's house. Look out, honey. Come over here. So this one's really cool, I thought. It would be really, I'll probably put all of those into a pack, um, because I know a lot of people like to use Shakespeare stuff in their journals, so that would be really cool. I've got this. This may be something I keep and turn it sideways. It's an oil lamp. It's hand painted. It's beautiful. Um, I grew up with oil lamps. Um, there are seriously like 30 to 100 in my parents' house, but this is a cute little wall mounted one. All I need is the glass, which my dad had a bunch of extras. So I may sell this, I may keep it, I don't know. We do tend to lose power a lot in California. We have a generator now, but still it was... Um, I really got it. Good. It's nice to have. And then this is a huge lot, I haven't opened it yet, of old pictures. And I don't need to see, keep them all, obviously, but huge lot of old, it was really nice of them to put them in these cases. <laughs> so yeah, um, lots like this. Oh, okay. Oh, parenthood. All right. Y'all have a great, uh, great week. I'll be back on in the next couple of days with more stuff. Stay safe and take care. Bye.